until we come to our MMA European title. Coming through first, that is Guillaume. All the way from France. Interesting fact, actually. I think uh, it's uh, MMA is actually mostly illegal in France. Yeah, it's really hard for. Uh, they just. I think they've literally just legalised professional MMA, or they are legalising it. Or uh, um, as far as I'm aware, it's very it's, difficult to get for French fighters to get fights in France. Yeah, they have to sort of like fight under different rules where it's not quite MMA. It might do like a round of kickboxing followed by a round of grappling, or it's like builders some kind of like jujitsu, like sport jujitsu. That's why you find a lot of French fighters fighting, fighting in England, fighting in Belgium, fighting in Holland, Germany. Yeah, a lot Holland, in Holland. Yeah. A lot in Holland. And here comes the local lad, Lee Spinks. Here to challenge for the European MMA title. Now, what we do know about Lee, Lee's a bit of a judo stylist, so maybe he'll look to take this, this fight to the ground. He is a judo stylist, but he is walking out wearing tie shorts. Interesting. Maybe it's just a stylistic choice. Well, you know what? I've known a, <laughs> I know a guy who fought in tie shorts when he was a jiu-jitsu fighter, just to mess with his opponent's head. And he you know what? He armbarred him in the first round. So. I know someone that did that as well. He was fighting me, and I beat him by arm triangle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No fool in the dungeon master. No fool in me, mate. You have to roll a really high deception check to pull the dungeon master. I think that's going to go on over, uh, over like most people's heads on this, but yeah. Yeah, well, you know. That one was for me. That one's for the real ones. <laughs> Hold that D20 tight. So, I was me. And so we are here at our MMA European Amateur title. In the white shorts, we have Alex Guillaume all the way from France. In the blue tie shorts, we have Lee Spinks representing Revolution. So, fighters don't touch gloves coming out. Let's see. Alex Guillaume coming nice, strong with that yeah. big one too. Looking sharp with his jab. Lee Looking Spinks got some kind of like evasive, yeah. evasive hands, but Guillaume straight on the middle. We have the grappler here. Good Gimme. sprawl there from Oz Guillaume. Nice hammer fist. Oh, and a huge and a head, head kick. kick. And Gimme again. Really violent. Lee Spinks nice manages to take the fight to the ground. Spinks. Let's see what Alex Guillaume's guard's made of. Lee Spinks, Lee Spinks with a big round, round and pound. Lee and here triangle. Comes the triangle. It's like Guillaume. It's tight. Yeah, Ooh, that's nice tight. He's going to pull on the head. Nice. He's holding it. Lee Spinks is looking to post out, make some space. Right, red. Lee Spinks is looking going post out, make some tight. space. This is very tight. It's like Guillaume might have I let can't go see of that. Hand there. Looks like he might have let go of that. Lee Spinks is just oh, going to peel their leg off. Out. He's just working out. It's a really this is strange going to be an interesting to be in here here position now. to be in, though, this because I'm not sure exactly where they're going to end up when he pops this, out of this, this triangle. This is a challenge to see who's going to come up on top. It's like Lee Spinks this might This is going to be a big top. scramble right now. Lee Spinks is going to get top position, but he's not got a. He's got almost a. He needs a, a, to, a he almost needs, a north south. Yeah, he's got like a almost like a reverse mount. He needs to spin back around so he can face the other way. Unless he's going to attack a leg lock. You've got you've got your knee bars there. You've got your toe hold. Kim needs, needs to make some ground and pound. Right and so he, he wraps up a body triangle from underneath. Might be lucky to come through the back for a leg lock. It looks like he is. He's starting it, to fish around with the feet. He's looking for a he's toe hold for a himself. Toe hold. 
Looking for a reverse toe hold there. He's gone for the toe hold. Spinks well, Lee Spinks drives down back up. Okay, Apparently there's no leg locks no in, this leg in this fight. Lee Spinks. Lee Spinks taking side really control. Really nice pass there. Really nice pass. Big ground and pound there. He's always got a smash pass position. Alex Guillermo pulls that guard again. See if he starts looking for that triangle. Lee Big Spinks ground and pound from Lee Spinks. Big ground and pound. Guillermo Looks like Guillermo keeps trying arm. to tie up an arm. He's going back to the triangle. He's going to look for the He's triangle here. He's looking to be pulling that knee through. It's going to be difficult though with Lee Spinks. Top See, Lee pressure. Spinks has got that knee in there, looking for the, tr looking to get that inside position. Oh, really, again, really he's really uh, Guillaume is tacking, uh, looking, what, pulling that knee through. This ground and pound from guard is not small. Well, if you, know, if you see here, though, he's blocking the elbow there. Essentially looking for a... It's like oh, looking for, for a go-go He's gone for a go-go plotter. Go for a go -go plotter. He's, got his, he's got his foot under the chin. Lee Spinks pulls his hands back, starts looking for a bit more ground and pound to finish the round. Incredible round, round of MMA one. action. Good round. A little bit of confusion there in the rules for no leg locks. We've got Alice Guillermo going for a toe hold, but quite, quite luckily he didn't look on. Didn't look to be really threatening Lee there. Uh, nice double leg takedown we saw from Lee in that round to secure that top position. But Guillermo with a quick triangle managed to catch the wrist, bring the knee through and pop through. Yeah, yeah. Now I think the court spinks a bit unaware. Maybe we weren't expecting that much uh, no. ground game from the Frenchman, but... Lee Spinks slowly worked his way out of that triangle and found the reverse mount and from there it was uh, top position and smashing ground and pound. Now what I did like was from Guillermo earlier was those head kicks. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Dropping oh, ice. No. There's now, ice in the cage. That, this can be very dangerous because it can, it can make the floor really slippery. This is the referees picking it all up. There's the infamous spilt bag of ice in the UFC. We've had one here now at RECC. Well, I've, I've actually slipped in cages before as well. People have like dropped ice and uh, got injured. So it's good that the coach Neil's there to make sure it all gets cleaned up. Interesting fight this so far. Lee Spinks possibly one round up, but that does not mean the Frenchman's out at all. No, no, it's a three round fight. Any man's, but yeah, I'd, I'd give that, leave that one on the cards. Let's be taking an angle there. Guillermo uh, with a hard jab. Guillermo striking's I'd, I'd, on point. Yeah, I'd give Guillermo the advantage in the striking here. He threatened with that head kick again just then. Wild hook there. And he stepped off to a nice angle. Nice Big low kick. kick there by Spinks. Oh, oh Lauren Guillermo by a brilliant low kick. You find that Guillemet in MMA there. so often. One person lands on you like, I can do that too. You know, it's very hard to check low kicks in MMA because you need to keep your feet on the floor to stop the takedown. It's very easy to start fake it, checking low kicks and but then turn into a fake and get Wicks into double. Nice, nice body kick there. I think that might have actually hurt Lee Spinks a little bit. He smiled. Guillermo looking sharp with his striking. Lee Deep Spinks penetration for that double leg. For a little bit of a sprawl. Lee Spinks drives into the corner of the cage. Complete double leg takedown. What's interesting Guillermo there. retains guard again. It was interesting there. Spinks managed to run him from one side of the cage yeah. into the other and then running back to the other side of the cage. He's been he looking at play some more of that looking ground and power. Yeah. He's had really heavy hips in this fight. He may look at the triangle. There he is. There's a triangle, triangle again. again. He again. Now he needs to start pulling on the head here and getting an angle. Pulling on the head. Pulling on the head. He is. He's pulling on the head. He needs to pull and squeeze. He's changed to the armbar. He has changed the armbar. That That's, That's deep. Straight armbar. That's deep. It's deep. But it looks That's like deep. Spink might looks just like spin pull out. Looks like Spink might be getting the elbow out there. You see there, Guillaume has crossed his legs. When you cross your legs like that on the armbar, it makes it a lot easier to get out of because it takes the pressure off you, of your opponent's head. But Spinks looks like he's struggling. I think his toes caught in the cage. Is Guillaume's toes? Guillaume really Guillaume's driving toes those hips in, the in there. It's like Spinks he's going back to it. It's like Spinks might have tapped then. Interesting, see, interesting defence there. So a good job there's no footlocks involved then. Lee Spinks clambering on top. Yeah, this is how the second half of the first now round I'm, went as well. I'd like to see Guillaume 
I'd like to see Guillermet using some more. That wasn't a leg lock, referee, that was a sweep. Please, please educate yourself on the sport of grappling. Okay, well, well, he stood him up. That was a bad, that was a bad call from the referee. I'll take that on. I'll take that on record. You should be standing fighters up when they're, they're in a position to attack working. like that. They're both, both working, working and sweeping, but they're back on the feet. Oh, big, big spinning, spinning back fist. fist! Yes, there we are. Ooh, the spin lands a nice right hand. This is a great fight again. Nice big knee there. Another big double leg takedown. What another fantastic round of action in this European yeah, title fight. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the referee should have stood the fighters up there. I don't really understand. I don't what understand. Happened. I don't understand why he stood them up there. I'm also not they're sure. Still, they're still I'm not, fighting. I'm not sure what the exact rule set is. I know that there's uh, sweeping, there's no, not leg locking. There should be straight ankle locks allowed. Yeah, sweeping, not leg locking. Yeah. yeah a little, a little bit. <laughs> I mean. It yeah. depends what amateur rule set is being look, used, but the, look, one a leg, most, a leg, the one that I am most used to is no knee bars, no, no heel. But a, no, it doesn't matter what the rules are. A leg lock is when you're attacking the leg, not yeah. when you're sweeping somebody. Yeah, yeah. He, all Guillermo did was come out of the back door he and he had on the leg. An he was almost like he just he could have got up in a single leg. Right, let's get past that. Let's look at the brilliant takedowns we've seen from Spinks and the great yeah. strike we've seen from Guillermo. And those triangles, yeah. and those triangles, those triangles are brilliantly Guillaume. set up. Now, I think what we're seeing here, the difference is Guillermet needs to work on his sprawl. He needs to sprawl hard in this round. Yeah. Guillermet knows what Spink's going to do. Spink's going to come, try and close the distance and shoot another double leg takedown. Now if Guillermet can stop it, it's his round if to I'm win. Sp if I'm Spinks, I'm going to say set them takedowns up with your hands hard because Spinks yeah. is good. I mean, Guillermet's looking for gonna, He's going to be looking for a big sprawl in big, here. Not only a big sprawl, but he's going to look for a big attack as well. He's going to look for a big strike. Here we are in the third and final round Starts of our European kick. title fight. Guillermet starts with a leg kick and another one. Spin counters with the right hand. And with the right leg, leg kick, kick his own. Guillermet counters that with his own right hand. Nice team, close to the chin there. I'd like to see Guillermet keep this distance this round. Maybe, maybe literally really think about sprawling hard, but makes fake some shots of his own so he can come over the top with his hands. Nice big low kick, chopping across the legs really there. trading leg kicks this round. I think Guillermet's looked to be the ones that are landing harder. Go to Superman punch there from Spink. Really mixing up then. Hey, nice. So Spinks is going his man on. Guillermet needs to make something happen. The way that MMA scored, he could be down two rounds. I think he's going to be down two rounds, been on the bottom of any of both rounds and getting hit from Ingard. Yeah, he did have the triangle, but it's not very often that the triangles, things like that, are scored higher than um, the ground and pound. The ground and pound was hard from Ooh. these things. I think that, that hook might have really landed then. That hook from Guillermet looked like it could have caused some pain, but Spinks still right with us. That one just whiffed. Guillermet looking good with his hands on there. Oh! Nice pick. Really rocks Spinks' head back. Spinks on the defensive and gets the double leg takedown on the defensive. Yeah, and that's what I was saying about Guillermet. Yeah. He needs to be careful looking for that sprawl, you know? He needs to be making sure he's, he's not looking for an armbar here. Now he really needs to not be crossing his, leg, his legs there. It looks like he might be eye break extending the elbow of Spinks there, but he needs. can't see from where I he am. He really needs to not he's be really going for crossing it the legs. Still, he needs to put them hips yeah. in, drive them hips, pull that, pull that hand across his hips. That's a real stalemate position here. If I'm Spinks, I'm looking at edging that elbow out and then coming back up top. Looks like he might have got that. It might looks like I think he's got the elbow past the leg line now. Looks like I'm he's got the elbow past the leg line. Hold of that leg, and I'm looking to turn, I'm looking to sweep. Keep all those legs. Guillermo needs to get now, right, in a really so good position. Guillermo now needs to get his back against the cage and start walking up that cage. You've got Spinks there looking for almost like a head and arm choke. Oh, Guillermet's Guillermet walks up the cage, he's going to try and flip himself over. Oh, Unfortunately, nice. all he manages to do is push himself into more danger. Yeah, he wraps up an upside down in well, if, if you saw, If you saw Spinks then switch to, switch to a reverse scarf or <laughs> sat through. Oh, he's looking he's for, looking for a Kimura of his own. For the Americana. 
What a fantastic display of grappling from these two men. What a, what great, a great fight. A fight worthy of the title, in my opinion. And three rounds in the book, we go to the judges to decide who wins. The story of the fight, Lee Spinks with the deep double leg takedowns, Guillermo with the attacks from his back. And some very vicious ground and pound. European MMA title holder, one would assume. Yeah, Coach Neil prepared him well for that fight. Really, really deep penetration on his double leg takedowns. I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think it was his ground and power as a testament to that fight. And I think while while Guillaume looked at the more impressive striking, Spence was catching him off guard and coming underneath. And as you know, if whenever you're returning a kick or a punch, if you if you're not really in base, you're not set to sprawl. I think Spinks was capitalising on that. Guillaume looked for his sprawls. 